Okay, we were just talking about chirality and um, the handedness of, of molecules. We have Peter on YouTube who wants to know why did these molecules go left, which I now we see that they can go left or right, but why? What was the assumption, I guess, before these yeah, new so that, discoveries? Yeah, so that's a great question. I mean, and this is this is really the million dollar question that we're still trying to work out. Now, prior to this this mission, we had some evidence from meteorites um, that there was this excess of some of the protein amino acids, the left handed form, up to sixty percent more in some cases of the of the left handed. So, actually, I was personally expecting when we when we brought these Bennu samples back because it had a composition very similar to these meteorites that we would also find left-handed excesses, but, but we didn't. You know, we found that they were equal mixtures. And, you know, when I saw this, I was actually kind of depressed. Yeah. I thought, no, <laughs> My life's, you know, I've been working yeah. on this <laughs> right. for 20 years, and now yeah. let's just flush it down the toilet. I yeah. mean, that's, that's honestly how I felt. But again, this is why we, we explore. This is why we do missions like OSIRIS-REx, to get closer to the truth.